All right, hopefully we're back. Hopefully this thing's working because I made a video earlier. Anyway, so happy new year. I made a video earlier. It didn't save, so I'm doing this again. But anyways, in this video, what we're going to be talking about is the limited edition guaranteed scout. And I don't have that many good things to say about it. But let's dive right in here and take a look at it. It's around $39.99 USD. Japanese yen is 4,900 euros, 4399 Uh, I think that's the... No, it can't be a British pound. I don't know. That might be Germany. Well, whatever. Anyway, the price is there. But for me, right, so that's 40 bucks USD. For me, it's around 54.99 Canadian. And, you know, it's a similar price to the Moon Crystal Pack. And I got to say, I think the Moon Crystal Pack is better. Because the limited edition scout is fucking, you know, is not selectable. What if you already have the character? And then they're like, oh, limit. You can only buy three. No. You know, it's not limited. You you could only buy three. The thing is, they're trying to make it feel like, oh, they're giving you a giving you a deal here. You can only buy three. So you have three chances, right? But the thing is, it's not worth it. I mean, I don't even care if you have 50 chances. Forget it. The thing is, it should be selectable, okay? I mean, that is the new year thing so my new year resolution is not to buy that many packs in this game that is that i feel is a ripoff because the thing is even if you do get three scouts what if you get the say the characters you don't need right i mean three scouts time fifty dollars plus i don't know it's around 50 bucks usd i think there's tax right there's always tax for everything right so anyways i have to pay taxes so so it's around 50 60 dollars total Times three, you know, that's around 200 bucks, maybe. I'm just rounding it up. Not a deal. I mean, a, like a $200 for three random chances. Are you serious? That's a deal? Right, let me go on in here. There's not that many characters either, but look. There's three characters here. They're only showing. They should have showed all the characters because, you know, it's not like there's a huge freaking list. But going here, look. You got Alice here. You got Sinon and Leafa. These are the Earth ones. You got Kirito Asuna. These are the Fire Magic Fire ones. You got Edis Alice, which is the green characters. So the Edis is the plus three to recollection field. The Alice is the Bikini Alice breaks, right? So Bikini Alice, Bikini Edis. That's what you should call it because it's easier to remember. How the hell, how the hell are you supposed to remember the other ones? So the Bikini Leafa, that's the one I'm missing. Bikini Sinon, these two are the light character. Light Sinon, Bikini, Light Bikini Sinon, Light Bikini Sort Lena. Those are the three I am missing. And then you have, what's this? Seductive Fumes Ronnie and Bath After Bave, Bath After Dark T Sin. I think those are the uh, the Earth characters again. And then you have Gods Dis of the Abyss, which is the, the Edis. That is like plus three to recollection feel for Dark. I want to look at the Ronnie one. I think I have the Ronnie one. But anyways, I'm only missing three. And I am not going to put $200 in there for a chance to get three. I mean, are you stupid? Like, come on. It's a chance, right? A chance? I mean, I, I want it to be guaranteed. Yeah, I mean, it is the bathing suit. uh, The bathrobe Ronnie and the bathrobe Teed say. So... It's Earth, right? So, anyways, it might it's beneficial if you can't beat the uh, ultimate battle. If you are lucky enough to get the Leafa and Sinon or the Tse and Ronnie, I think Tse is really good because you got plus three to Earth recollection field. I'm missing these three, right? These three I'm missing. Now, how many characters are in here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 13 characters in total. I'm missing three. So, if I get any of the 10 characters, I'm going to put a middle finger up, right? I mean, obviously, for 54.99, for me anyways, you still get the 400 diamonds. Which you could use. But, you know, for me, I thought about it. How I'm going to do this for 2022 is, you know, with everything happening, 
uh, people are gonna go bankrupt, prices are rising. I don't feel like spending money in this game, which I'm not gonna die if I don't spend, right? I mean, this game hasn't been treating players that well for the past year. Maybe it was because of the pandemic, maybe not. I don't know, but you know, I'm not gonna spend to buy these diamonds anymore. So what is what's gonna happen? Because they don't even listen to you, okay? They keep launching limited edition characters. Like, oh, we just scam these people into buying these limited edition characters. Like, for, at first I was buying them, right? I don't know how much I put well over like five thousand dollars these past two years into the game. And they keep on pumping it out because I am not getting any stronger in the game. Most of my, uh, most of my ranking events, I'm either rank one or rank two, right? But I don't mind being rank three or rank ten anymore, right? Because I keep getting pushed down the rank unless I put more money in. I mean, am I gonna put another five thousand dollars for next? Year or next because it's getting worse, right? I mean the 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 price is getting worse I mean when I first started I didn't mind putting a hundred two hundred dollars in because it was fun It was fair you could grind the diamonds now you can't grind the diamonds every two weeks or every week rather You need to buy two three hundred dollars and they're actually trying to get you to put up seven hundred dollars per character to try to get the character so you know how do I know that in order to get all the characters, I don't need to put $10,000 in per year? I mean, that's crazy. I don't even have a PlayStation 5 yet. So, I'm just like, forget it. Right? I mean, the, the amount of money I spent here, I gotta buy a PlayStation 5. Right? I mean, I want a PlayStation 5. But yeah, they're getting ridiculous with this. They're cutting down the diamonds. I saw some guy with 10,000 diamonds, and I thought about it. You see, what I'm going to do with the diamonds is I'm only going to buy the season pass. The scouts, forget it. I mean, I don't need any new character, especially the non, the uh, non-elemental scout. I don't need it. I mean, sure, I will need it sooner or later. I'm like rank 3 right now in my, my other game, right? In my uh, official game. But I don't mind being rank 5 anymore. Right? I don't mind that. I don't think I mind it that much. Because most of my rank, I, I counted it. I think there's 16 titles. And I, I think I was rank 10, 10 rank 1. And 6 rank uh, 2. I haven't ranked 3 or even below that, right? Or anywhere from rank uh, 3 to rank 20. I haven't ranked any around there. I always rank 1 or rank 2. But I, I feel like I'm okay with being rank 20 now. I mean, because... I can't... I don't want to keep up with it. I mean... I, I want to buy a PS5. Right? I don't want to buy these scouts that keep on going into nowhere. I mean, I like I was saying, I put in like $500 for the anniversary already. And I feel that's really generous. Um, and I didn't get what I wanted. Like, how is it possible you put in $500 and you didn't get what you wanted? I mean, it, it's crazy. It's like you need some secret way of scouting. You either get it or you don't get it. Because I kept on getting the same freaking character. And that's ridiculous, right? I mean, how can you have a 50-50% chance if you keep getting the same character? That, that, that's not 50-50% chance, right? All right, so anyways. I, at first, I was thinking, hey, the scout, you know, if you buy the diamond packs anyways, you might as well just buy the limited edition characters. If you don't have the limited edition character, if you're new, right? But if you're a veteran player like me, if you, like, played from the beginning and you have pretty much almost all the characters, you don't really need this pack. I mean, sure, there might be some characters you want, right? But most of the times, you won't get the character you want. Just, like, just, just put that into your mind. Because I feel like... They scan your account. That's what I feel like. And th th it's not just this game either, you know. It's like other games too. They scan your account and then they see which character you have, which character you don't have. And then depending on the situation, they either increase the rate or decrease the rate. This is not like some random shit. And I like, you know, I like how some people like to say it's the random number generator and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, prove it. 
you know <laughs> yeah in theory it's random generator right it's like it's like those people you know in school how it's, in theory all teachers are supposed to be like you know or even priests right are supposed to be like these good saints people and then you realize they're in the news for like sexual harassment and stuff like that they're no saint okay i mean underneath the cover yeah you <laughs> you don't know anything right so anyways that's my thoughts on the damn pack i'm not too enthusiastic about it if it was a selectable pack i would buy it because i know i'm guaranteed that damn character but stop trying to make me scout for a kid pay and then scout for the character, which is completely random. That is ridiculous. And I think we're beyond that in 2022, you know, with, with these scouting things. I mean, sure, they still release it, but people are getting smarter, you know. And especially with older games, right? With older games, you don't feel like scouting anymore. It's like scouting done. Oh, yeah, here's the Alice that, that, that I was talking about. So she is in the pack, the limited edition pack. I didn't get the Edis. And like I was saying, I don't feel like buying it. Makes no sense. But if you're new and you don't have many characters, and you know, if you do generally buy diamonds anyways, 400 diamonds. How much is 400 diamonds? 400 diamonds around 27, 28, uh, around 50 something dollars anyways. So, you know, if you, if you buy the diamonds, you might as well just buy the pack. But of course. You know, if you have all the characters, if you have most of the limited edition characters, don't buy. It. Because the thing is, the problem, here's the problem with buying that this pack. You know, they make it like, oh, you, you can only buy it three times. It's like, we're helping you. No. You, you see, like I was saying about they scan the, the accounts, right? I think anyways. That's according to how I feel. Um, If they... If they give you a character you already have, you're like, oh, I have two more times. And then you buy the second one. And then, you you know, let's say they scan your account. And then, you know, you get a duplicate again. And then you're there a third time. It's like you finally hit the bar. Okay. And then you get the character. You're like, yeah, I finally got it. But you just bought all three packs. Weren't you just going to get one? Well, you know, you know, they gave me three chances. Well, well you see, there, there's the problem. And I... I'm not that stupid, so, you know, the, the thing is there. Like I was saying, if you're a new player, it's a good pack. If you're an old player and you have other stuff, you know, if you're okay with being rank 5 instead of being rank 1 and ha or having all the characters, then, you know, depending on your situation, right? I, I'd say the pack, if I was still in the situation where I'm doing these money talk things, because I used to do them, because I know that once you get to step 5, you're guaranteed the character. But now, they're not guaranteed the character, right? So, um, yeah, like I was saying, if I was still doing that and still buying the diamonds like I used to and ha is happy about buying the diamonds, then I'll buy the pack. But I am completely unhappy about buying diamonds in this game now because I feel the scouts are completely rigged and... You know, maybe they'll unrig it. Who knows? But I'd have to have evidence of that before I start buying diamonds again. Because like I was saying, I could be buying a PS5. Why the hell do I want to buy a chance at trying to get something? Right? And what are you going to do with the diamonds anyways? You're going to scout. So you <laughs> It's kind of pathetic, isn't it? Because you're buying the ticket. Right? And then you only have a chance of getting the character you want. And then you're buying the diamond. And then you only have a chance. And then you're going to use the diamonds for scout. And then you only have a chance of getting the ca that character. And you're sitting there. Well, what if you don't get both? Oh, well, you you just fucked up. Because you, you, you didn't get the character you wanted from the scout. And you didn't get the character you wanted from the guaranteed scout. And you're like, oh, hell with this, right? So if it was a guaranteed scout, I'd buy it. But not guaranteed scout. I think it's BS.